player exception or injured player exception, just how that process works and, and if that applies to you guys when you have to apply for it, are you guaranteed to get it, those sorts of things? Yeah, and ge generally it's uh, a rule where if you have a player on your roster that um, is unable to play for an extend, pretty, pretty, pretty extended amount of time, the league affords you an exception to um, get another player and uh, the, the value of the exception differs based on, uh, but it's up to a certain amount and I don't know exact the exact number if it's nine or I don't know what the exact number is, but it um, gives you a little more. It's, it's just these are all, a lot of people don't understand, and I totally, I, I understand why they don't understand <laughs> the cap. Um, only reason I understand it is I've been around, it hasn't evolved, it, although the CBA has changed in 20 years, the exceptions are relatively the same. The bird exception, the non-bird, sorry, excuse me, the uh, the mid-level. Now they, they did add a taxpayer mid-level, but the biannual, all these things are not, you know, the trade exceptions, the amount that you have to, what you can aggregate in the trade. Even though the CBA has evolved and the cap has gone up and the luxury tax was then put in, the fundamental rules are still the same. Um, so the, the disabled player exception is just another tool to provide optionality for your roster is really what it is. Um, it's not football, it's not a hard cap, it's a soft cap, and that's another way to say, well, we've got an injured guy, we've used our mid-level, we've used our minimum, how can we sign or get a player um, that is larger than that? Or how, how can we acquire a player at a bigger number? So um, it's just another tool. Well, this, this may